So the next seven star raid has just been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but this time it's been a bit of a trick. Instead of showing us both the type and the Pokemon, they've only shown us the type, which is supposed to be poison. Now, if we go off the current trend that's been set with the previous seven star raids, we can see that it's most likely going to be a starter Pokemon because we've had Charizard and Cinderace. Now, there is another theme going on here that might not be as obvious, but if you have a look at Charizard, its terror type is Dragon. A lot of people have been speculating for ages that Charizard should have always been a Dragon, which is why it got Fire Dragon in its Charizard X form. So it kind of is a nod from Game Freak to the fans saying, hey, here's your Char Dragon Charizard. Now, with Cinderace, the same thing kind of happens. For generations, we've only ever had fire fighting Pokemon. They were been all over the place. And then it got to the point where fans didn't want them anymore. So Cinderace came out and it was just fire. But then when it got its terror type form in these raids, it got fighting. So it became fire slash fighting anyway, which again could be Game Freak saying to the fans, I see you. Here's your fire fighting Cinderace that you didn't really want. Now, poison is associated pretty well with like assassins and ninjas. And what Pokemon do we have that is a starter and also a ninja? Well, it's Greninja, but not just normal Greninja. I think they're going to give us Ash Greninja, given the state of the anime and where that storyline is going for Ash. It only makes sense for them to kind of celebrate this with Ash Greninja. So when we first think of poison Pokemon, we initially go, okay, they're weak to psychic and ground. So if you see this Greninja, you're probably thinking, all right, I just get a ground and a psychic Pokemon and that's how we will fight it. The problem with that is the original typing of Greninja is water and dark, which means that water shuriken and dark pulse both counter any psychic or grounds that kind of want to fight it. Okay, so in this state, we can see that any of psychic or ground Pokemon are going to get super effectively hit. But what if we use a Pokemon that resists water and dark moves, but still have access to psychic moves? Well, certain Pokemon like Fluttermane come to mind. Not only do they have a strong special defense, which is very good against Greninja, given that it is a special attacker, they also get access to like Carmine, Fake Tears, they can set up on Greninja, and even if Greninja, say, uses Terra Blast, which would be special, they don't really have to worry about it too much, and they'll be able to tank those hits and kind of fight back with, like, say, stored power. The only problem with this is that Greninja gets two ways to actually stop these type of setups. First of all, it gets access to the physical attack Gunk Shot, which to a weak defensive Pokemon like Fluttermane does a lot of damage. So the common strat with Cinderace and Charizard raids was to get a Pokemon that kind of raises the stats to plus six and also lower the enemy's stats to like minus six or whichever, and then kind of take it out with one shot before shields pop up or anything like that. Even though these Pokemon have access to the ability to reset all your stats when the shield goes up after a certain amount of time, Greninja also has access to Hay, so it can do it whenever it wants. Now, we also know from previous raids that Pokemon get access to a move that they use before kind of like the turn start. Uh, for Cinderace, it was Bulk Up. Uh, for Charizard, it was Overheat. And then for Greninja, it could easily be something like Double Team, which raises its evasiveness, so it's harder to hit. Smoke Screen. So it lowers our accuracy. So again, it's harder to hit. Or it could be a move like Water Pulse. So when it hits us, there's a chance for confusion. So with these seven moves that Greninja can definitely have, because we know that Charizard had eight moves, it basically shuts down any of the common strategies we've used up to this point and kind of puts a damper on any future strategies we might have because it actually stops the majority of the things you can think of right off the bat. Now, it also gets access to an eighth move, which could be counter. So if you use any physical moves against it and it counters you back, you're probably dead with that. It also gets access to Brick Break, so it can destroy shields like Reflect or Light Screen, which is another common strategy that has been used to kind of fight these raids. So there is a chance that some of these moves might not even make it onto Greninja, so we don't even have to worry about it. Uh, something like Fluttermane may still work uh, if it doesn't get access to Gunk Shot and it just uses Terra Blast. Uh, but a Pokemon that I definitely know should be able to go well, at least in supportive role, is going to be Tinkerton. Now, Tinkerton gets access to a lot of things that are helpful. Uh, it can skitter smack, so it can lower the special attack. It gets access to fake tears, so it can lower the special defense. Uh, it also gets access to light screen, so it can put that up to protect against all of the special attacks that Greninja wants to use against us. Other great thing about Tinkerton is that it's going to be taking little to no damage from Greninja because of all of its resistances. Uh, you just give it like max HP, max special defense, and leftovers, and this thing should basically stay on the field for a while, especially if it's got skitter smack and light screen. So I really think that Tinkerton, it could be a great way to support special base Pokemon with everything that's got going on. 
But yeah, that's my gut reaction to this announcement. If it's not Greninja, it's most likely going to be one of the Pokemon that have been kind of rumored to come through with Pokemon Home. And if they do announce the Pokemon prior to the raid, I will obviously make a video that goes over an in-depth analysis on which Pokemon could be good, like I have for the previous ones. I kind of just wanted to get this one out to start a conversation. So let me know in the comments below which Pokemon you think could actually be released with a poison typing. Uh, are you excited for the idea of getting uh, Ash Greninja if it is that? or Greninja in general. Uh, and yeah, if you are enjoying these videos, let me know by leaving a like down below. Also, if you're not subscribed and you want to get notified when new videos go up, just hit the subscribe button and that notification bell, and I will catch you all in the next one. Cheers!